In this series of videos, I'm going to offer my perspective on some topics that pertain to the Second Amendment, guns, our community, the industry, and our history. I'm calling it Mansplaining 2A. Here we go. I mean, lastly, for another topic would be a digital 2A economy. We need it because we don't have presence. We get our, yank, our chains yanked in so many ways by not having consistency or foundational, what's the word? Like we don't have any kind of backbones for, for financial stuff. Our gun shops don't have it. Our um, individuals don't have it. Uh, the community doesn't have it. So uh, we also know that there's all kinds of concerns and blah, 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 or at least fake concerns or whatever, but at least we have the option to do some sort of uh, whatever, whether it be some sort of online thing like a PayPal, online thing like, um, I don't know, like a credit card bank. And I don't know, I mean, I guess that's basically like a PayPal. I don't know what people think of PayPal, but there's other versions of PayPal. Like I'm trying to think of what they are, Cash App and these other things. You know, if it's just some way to deliver cash or if it's something as complicated as like a Indiegogo or a Patreon where there's like a level of community in it. But having something like that not only facilitates each other so that you could go to the gun shop and buy something and have something shipped and use a gun broker and use a pay, you know, something the equivalent of a PayPal so that we can together across state lines and, you know, in with our phones and digitally so that we're keeping up with the technology of the Joneses or whatever, you know, have some way to actually do commerce with firearms where that's basically prevented in most ways, unless you mask it or, you know, I mean, there's just not ways to do it right now, but not only would that facilitate us doing it, but it would also, again, lead the way to just show that, like, when a segment of, like, if all car owners had their own digital currency, that would show the, that would be a meaningful statement, right? Like, if all television owners had their own currency, well, what other segment of the, of the country is in a position where it has to create its own currency because it's being persecuted? So that's a place where gun owners have an opportunity to not just move the Overton window, but to create optics or you know, to create opportunity for all these so-called liberals who think they're so fucking good. And as we have, you know, so, you know, allegedly are so brainiac and all this optics and bullshit and marketing and crap. Well, make a new digital economy and lead the way. Let all the other wannabe libertarians or communists or socialists, all these people are getting off on, you know, digging into different weird, what's the word, economies or government bullshit. Let them dig into two, a new digital economy. They are all would be foaming at the mouth for that kind of stuff, right? So instead of just, again, being an observer and bitching and moaning, give them something concrete to work on and to work in. Because if you did create a digital economy that was separate or equal or whatever the words would be to make it, you know, like a usable thing, all these alternate communities would jump right in and use it with us. So immediately we'd have this big pool and talk about incentive. Wouldn't that just make tons of people rich who facilitate a lot of us just to be able to do stuff again, or at least like everybody else can do. If I wanted to be a four by four channel or a guitar channel, I'd have no barriers at entry. If I want to do gun stuff. You know, I got to tippy toe around and worry about stuff and constantly have people walking up and going, Oh, you know, blah, 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 and exploiting the situation and shit. So it's just, uh, again, an opportunity that none of when they ever brought that up, it, gun rights policy or when you hear a national level organization bring up the fact that it's frustrating for gun business or gun shops to, to do credit card stuff unless we're getting attacked by a bill or a well it's only been bills ever so potentially some law never actually a law but just potentially a law maybe in a state level we've actually been hit by some kind of law but for the most part just potentially get hit by some law that never comes up so let us know what you think. We'll be watching the comments wherever you find the video over on GunStreamer.com or on GunTube.org. Thank you for supporting our projects. If you'd like to buy us a cup of coffee, check out our Patreon channel. The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourages you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thank you for watching GunWebsites.com.